Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm IT Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. Crack all day. So Ye- TNT. Yo. There was a woman. Her name is Zana Samsavana. Wait, no, wait, hold on. Whoa. Samsonova. Samsonova. So I guess <laughs> she was a social media influencer Bet. who promoted a tropical fruit only diet. Okay. Okay. So I I only have like the headline and the caption because I didn't care enough. Seems like a, a lot of sugar. Right. And so like I guess that's what she did online, and then she died of malnutrition. Yeah, I can see that. I can see that happening. I can see you dying of that. Yeah. She and died. Died. Yeah. Like not just the fake died. Like she did. Oh, she died. Yeah. Like she was she was promoting something that murdered herself, and I thought that was messed up. Like, how are you going to promote to eat fruit, and then you ate fruit, and then you die? I got a, I got a question, though, real quick. I don't so, know the answer, but I'll try. So, like, you know, if you, like, die of something like malnutrition, like, that takes time, right? Like, you feel really weak like, yeah. for a long time. It's like people who let their kids die of malnutrition. Like, yeah, that's why yeah. they, like, go get in a lot of trouble for that. Yeah, Like, you feel like shit for a while before it actually happens. Like, you know. Like, you're very weak. You can barely get up. Like, uh, yeah. I don't know. I don't feel well. Like, oh you eat God. a burger or something. Yeah, I don't I'm just Protein so hungry. Shake. I'll just eat some fruit until I'm full. No, no, no. Like, I love fruit. You figure it out. I love fruit. I eat a lot of fruit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I couldn't eat just all fruit. No. Like, I really like fruit. Like, fruit is, like, way up there on the foods that yeah, I enjoy. Yeah, yeah. And I just couldn't just eat only fruit. No, no. I mean, obviously, you die if it, if you did. So, just you probably shouldn't do it. I just, I, feel, I mean, I feel bad for her and her family. Mm, I do, too. Um, I'm, I'm not going to lie. a moment of silence for A moment of silence? You son of a bitch. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, man. Like, something about me is just screaming like Darwinism is just, like, I mean, really, really what's strong. That, what was that award? That, oh, Herman Cain Award. Oh, that was the one where you talk about how you didn't... Uh, believe in COVID and then you, you died believe of COVID. In COVID. and then you died of COVID. Yeah. This is more just, like, you killed yourself because... You just did something really stupid? You, you were so uneducated that you died. That yeah. is what this is. Yeah. Is, because like I feel like every person knows that you need a balanced diet to survive, and that you need things like fats and proteins, and you know other other nutrients that are found in a variety of food in order to maintain. Can I eat only bacon for the rest of my life and survive? Hmm. I think so because there's fats and there's protein. If that. you were to take mal- uh, a certain blend of multivitamins, yes. Yeah, why wouldn't homegirl take a vitamin, Bruh. I, mean, that's I take fish oil. I take a vitamin, and I, I, I eat nothing but too. bacon. And I eat oh, nothing but bacon. Let's go with our vitamin list, dude. <laughs> let's get our bottles out. Creatine. <laughs> it will, I take creatine. That helps me. That's it. It helps you what? Helps my muscles recover and build. Oh, what you need to your what you doing with your muscles, I play man? Volleyball, yeah, that's a lot. It's very enduring on my what muscles. You, what, ooh, you call it volleyball, but I know it's just jerking off. All right, so look. Wow. <laughs> Went to took a turn. I'm sorry, I don't know. I wow, don't know. I guess I'm just a that guy now. I'm the crass comedy guy, dude. I'm conservative. Are you blue? I'm conservative. I'm liberal, and I'm crass, and uh, I'm high class. So oh, gotta classy. Be, gotta be all all four. A tri- All right. Triple threat. I mean. Yeah, I don't know. I, like I said, I just feel like to a certain extent, man, you, that lady killed herself. And I don't want to say she deserved it, but no. I feel like, you know, she brought it on herself. You literally did that to yourself, man. Do crackheads deserve to die? If you take enough of a no, nobody deserves. That was a trick question. You caught yourself. It you is. Almost, okay, you so almost, nobody you went down the hole. This is the thing. <laughs> this is the thing. I didn't. I said that nobody deserves it because I mean that nobody deserves to die. But if you do enough of a certain drug and you die from it, I'm like, brother, what do you want me to do? 
You want me to feel bad for your chronic bad decisions? If you're jumping in between two moving trains, like, I can only feel so yeah, bad. Yeah, like if you're parkouring across buildings and you miss and die, or like... Yeah, like, what the hell did you expect? Or like, you wear a wingsuit and you're trying to float down a mountainside and, like, you hit the mountain, like... Or if you skydive out of a plane. I'm gonna do that. Like, what the hell do you think is going to happen? You're gonna... Your chute's gonna open. There's only... You're gonna have adrenaline. Yeah. And you're gonna win. There's there's three possible outcomes. One, you make it down safely. Two, okay. you make it down safely with, compli with complications. Three, you don't make it down, or you make I mean, it. You down. always make it down. <laughs> that's, that's never. <laughs> you will make it down. Period. That's, that's gonna happen. I mean. Regardless, I mean, you make it down, but you don't make it after. You right, know? right. Those right. are the only three things that they happen. So yeah, it's skewed in your in your favor. Sure, but it, it but it's higher than a ninety nine percent chance of. Uh, I mean, it's, it? it's not. I mean, it's lower than a ninety-nine percent chance of survival. Definitely lower than ninety. No, I don't. Wait, no, that's not right. Definitely that's lower. One in a hundred folks don't die from skydiving. Oh, so you think it's like? Oh, you think it's like a point something percent? Let me see. Let me see how many. I'm gonna Google it. How many people? Do planes are just falling out of the sky anymore? I've seen outside. Have you been there? Are, are we in that movie that Dave Batista was in? Yo, what was that movie called? Cabin in the Woods? No. Cabin in the Woods with yeah. Dave Bautista. Had a lovely gay couple in it. That was that was a pretty good movie. It reminded me of Modern Family with the gay couple in that because they had a uh they had purchased a uh, a daughter okay. from Korea. A rate of point zero zero six skydives per one thousand are fatal. It's one in one hundred and sixty seven thousand jumps. It means you're more likely wow. to die from a lightning strike, dog bite, wasp sting, bike accident, choking, or a motor vehicle crash than dying skydiving. Wow. I love it when they put the stats in there like you that. You going then? We going? Fuck, I'm not going. <laughs> I, look, man, I'm, I'm serious. I feel like I never win anything, dude. I feel like I've, I've put my hand in the drawings before, and I have not won anything since I won a Gwen Stefani uh, autograph tampon. No, I won a single for off of the No Doubt Tragic Kingdom album. It was uh, Spider Webs? I don't think it was. I was just a girl. Okay. And Spider Webs, I think, may have been on it. That was the last thing I won. That was in like fourth grade, uh, what do you call that? Music class. What did they, why, how did you win it? Uh, I don't know. My name got called, and I oh. got to go up, and I got to pick a cassette out of the cassette. The cassette. Oh yeah, the ball. cassette single. <laughs> <laughs> I just told everybody I'm old. Yeah. But look, dude, yo, yo, check it. But I got that Gwen Stefani. Took it home. Been a a, a no doubt head ever since. I've been a doubt head. You doubt head ever since. I am. I'm a Stefani head. Man, that's a that's a good cut. Yeah, not so much after what she did to my boy Blake Shelton. I don't know if I'm so much of a Glenn Stefani head though. Glenn Stefani, that's her name. Glenn. Now? Yeah, it's her brother. Trans. Oh, Trans gotcha. Now. Everybody's doing it. Yeah. Um. And I. I don't I know, man. I. Uh, what? I had the No Doubt CD with just a girl. But you win stuff too. Oh, know, I do. So. You've I'm won a, a bunch of stuff. I have. You win all the time. I'm a lucky person. This is what I'm saying. I um one time I I uh was caller number whatever on the radio and oh, won I a uh, story. and won it. free tickets to a uh, a local hockey game in in Youngstown. Was that the blood the Steel Hounds? Steel Hounds, yeah. I went to that game with well, you. Well, no, this like I, I, I went to story. many, many Steel Hounds games. Oh, yeah, okay, I went to a game. Yeah, with yeah, it was it was cool. The team that is is I have a Steel Hound. And, oh, actually, I don't want to ruin the surprise. So there was like a meet the host of the radio show, uh, razzle dazzle, food, drinks, you know, sort of thing. And then there was a drawing. There was three prizes. There was a trip to Columbus to go see the Blue Jackets. Oh boy! Put them in a hotel room. Oh boy! Spending cash. I mean, it was worth like. A thousand bucks, you know, then second place. Well, first prize, that was the grand prize was like a steel hounds Jersey. And then there was like some dumb shit, like a subscription to the newspaper or something. I don't know. Whatever it was. <laughs> I, 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 I won the steel hounds Jersey. I have it. It's like a professional steel hounds Jersey. It's like, it's a really nice hockey Jersey. Do you ever wear it? No, it's in a box. It's in a box. Nice. You never took it out I of the box? I wear and... I mean, no. I wore it in, in uh, oh. Young's... It's a long sleeve, bro. It's hot. Oh, did you... I don't you wear long it, sleeves. You should put it in a, in, a, in a glass case. Should I? For a defunct yeah. minor league hockey team? <laughs> bro, It costs yeah. like 800 bucks to put something under glass Is anymore. Is that much for a jersey? 
any if you want to put anything under glass, it's expensive. All right, man. Well, fine. Just so, put it in a resin and epoxy or something. <laughs> right. I'll put a hot dog in it and post it on Reddit. There you Is that, go. that dude hasn't posted in a minute though. Uh, Have you seen that lately? I the, saw I saw it when he started it. Yeah. Was there an update? He did it like every so was many months. There an update? I'm I'm curious. Anyways, uh, that's all the time we have today's episode. Go to thecrazetown.com for Jonas. TNT. Uh we out.